Have you seen people prepare refreshments during perhaps they are expecting visitors in their house or even during burials? Can you imagine something as painful as a burial? Why will you be cooking during a burial? Why will you be prepared to serve drinks during a burial? It should be a time of sober reflection. As you are putting the person down, you should be thinking about your life. And yet, people expect to be refreshed. Are we together? And those who, upon the fact that they are crying for losing their loved ones, they still cut cow, they still cook rice or swallow, and you still find arguments happening in the midst of the burial. Now, I said that for a reason. Let me have your attention. I said that for a reason. If humans can be that thoughtful, even in the midst of such a sorrowful event, what kind of God was introduced to you that will allow you to serve him and be spent for him and there is no provision for your well-being? That is not the God we serve. If people can be that, you know, they can, they can sympathize with you knowing that people are coming for a burial and that they've traveled from far, others would have spent their time and their life and after everything, they now say, well, there is something for you to refresh you at least on your way going. You don't come for a serious meeting with the plan to eat. You come to discuss business. But somewhere in that in Nigeria, we call it item seven. Is this still item seven now? Well, for many people, it's now item 21. We full up all kinds of activities. And it's when you are spent that they now say there's food. But is it not amazing? Listen, that in all of our plannings, you are considered irresponsible in Africa if you ever call for any kind of responsible gathering and not factor in something to refresh people. At the very least, water. Not even poverty is an excuse for leaving people in that state. We are that educated to know that every time you gather people, even if the reason for gathering is not your fault, the fact that they are coming to you, the responsibility becomes on you to make sure they do not live the way they come. Ladies and gentlemen, let's respect God. This God you see is not a wicked God. This God you see is not a cruel and self-centered God. Instinctively, even culture and culture beyond the bounds of religion. Every religion I know, in ways great and small, promote hospitality. You are commended when you are hospitable. It is the one factor that binds most cultures across the globe. I've traveled a bit and when I go to cultures, they try to show hospitality and honor in many ways. Sometimes they dress me. Sometimes they give me their local food. They do whatever. They devise the skill to show you you are welcome. May God himself tell you thank you this year. You need to be a politician to understand what I just said. There are ways that once you come, especially politicians, after they greet you, say, well, uh, I have a little thank you somewhere, just a cup of water, and uh, please make sure you look at it. When men say thank you, you know what that means. Thank you can mean anything. Businessmen too can say, well, I just something small for the charge card. And for some, you open it and it will change your life immediately. <laughs> Am I right on that? Every man blesses according to his riches. So when God tells you thank you, God does not consider himself too big to tell the saints thank you. It is clear in scripture that he commends people and he acknowledges the fact that he's touched and grateful for their commitment. When a rich man tells you thank you, thank you can mean go and carry that house. Thank you can mean take a car. Thank you can mean whatever you want. Thank you can mean sponsor your children. As men, as frail as we are, we have told certain people thank you. And even in our own little capacity, that thank you has meant something miraculous in their lives. Not to talk of God. Hallelujah. I'm saying it again. May you hear thank you from the master. 
for someone thank you from God will mean you will never beg again for the rest of your life for someone thank you from God will mean that cause of untimely death that kills people in your family on account of your loving him he will cause it forever Hallelujah.